This video is for people that have a bubble of gas in their compass and they want to get rid of it. First step is to install a grub screw in the face of your compass. This is a 2.5 millimeter stainless steel grub screw that's non-magnetic. That's important. It has to be either stainless steel or brass, something that's non-magnetic. So firstly, you must drill into the face of your compass and then you need to get a grub screw like I said 2.5 millimeter is what this one is and then slowly slowly turn it in back it off turn it in back it off until you have a grub screw that can be installed and removed easily the next step is to get a nice level work area with a stable surface to sit on and a stable surface to work on. Then get your tools together which will be the 2.5 millimeter hex tool, a syringe, this one is uh, 25 milliliters with a catheter needle. I think it's a 22 gauge catheter needle on this one. I bought disposable ones and for the catheter needle, I ended up buying a little tiny one millimeter syringe that had a catheter needle included with it. But all we need are the catheter needle, the little one, and the 20 milliliter syringe. Next we need a little cleaning tool. Toothbrush is pretty awesome and of course music. Compasses require mineral oil and in this case the most available mineral oil strangely is Johnson's baby oil. It works well in a compass. The first step of the operation is to deluge the screen of your compass in the baby oil. Next, remove the grub screw. Put the grub screw somewhere safe. The next step is like one of those games you got at birthday parties when you're six years old where you have to get the little ball bearing into a little tiny spot. You insert your needle into the hole where the grub screw was and fill it and you can see gas escaping. Filling it. Booyah. That's all of the gas has been pushed out, displaced by the mineral oil. The final step, of course, with all the gas evacuated, is to replace the grub screw. Ensure that when you install the grub screw that at its greatest depth it won't come in contact with the compass, the rotating portion of the compass on the inside. You can determine that it won't come in contact with it by taking a peek through the side port of the compass. Of course there's a little bubble left. 